What's up, Ruster? Are you ready for a new wipe? What do you do when that happens? Do you run over and get a barge? Put metal doors on it and take off into the ocean, avoiding and hiding from everybody? Or you dream of something better, like a house, but not simple house, something that will give you safety, protection, and many spots for a loop. Well, no, you're in the right place. I got perfect houses for you that are full of perks. And no, if there's only three stones on your area, you will be able to build them. Most of the simple houses are one by ones or two by twos. And the problem is, they bring campers that take your loot and leave you scarred. But there's a way to outsmart them. And I'll show you how. These houses are very simple to build step by step and build just like a regular house. And relax, you'll have kind of loot, kind of space. It'll make you the most on your area you'll be the most hated person so please subscribe get a like and also mind whichever player you are whether you live by the outpost where you find the double barrel and that makes you a king right from the start or you take over a gas station or a supermarket or if you live on the outskirts and you don't care where to build just away from people. So the first house is by the outpost, second by the gas station, and the third you can build anywhere. So these are the resources on the screen, the required, we're coming through the airlock. Cannot reach the crates, the only thing we can reach is the uh, sleeping bags, but don't worry, we have more on the top, on the second floor, place for the gun trap is up top. Here we have the second bench, and the TC is right behind it. Have a place for a loop, and this is the second floor. The second floor's got a 360 degrees uh, shooting range. And don't worry, nobody will be able to climb in into these windows. And here we got the smoker speed. Just imagine all the loot you can get off the road for people. Through here we can control the front door and even if they come through the gun trap will do its uh, job this is the tc plus for 24 hours and yeah let's get the build So we're out here at the outpost, depending on the white. If there's a mad players, just throw a bag. And then we're headed towards the road to place our first foundation. Make sure we, which way you place the TC, that's where your uh, smoker peak is gonna be at. First, we're gonna build just the TC and survive to get more resources on the street. So make sure everything's stoned. Slap the PC, lock it. Make sure you place the door that opens on the inside, just like that. And don't forget to rotate the wall and lock your shit. And now we're off to gather more resources. Once you're ready, then you start building. This is gonna be our airlock, and this is gonna be our loot room. Place the door now opens inward like that, and the second door opens away from you. That will give you an airlock. Slap the locks, and now uh, upgrade everything to stone or any materials that you have. I would recommend uh, building um, everything out of metal, but this house is a good starting house. Make sure you upgrade the frames. Very important, otherwise it will break the door with the rock. Like I said, this is a house uh, really great for the start to gather resources, then you can build something bigger. Also, this house is great to be used for raiding, because if you completely uh, cover this in the high quality metal, it's a fantastic raiding base. Place the shelves. 
I'm going a little bit slow for everybody so you guys can see. Make sure you have access to the PC. Later, you can move a third or second bench a little bit over so there's not big of a gap. Place the crates. Depending on how many people you have, um, you can place up to four crates inside and all can sleep outside. You even have a place for a small box or a fire, depending on your situation. And when you're ready to build out to the second floor, let's go. This is going to be, uh, exit to the second floor will be uh, done through a uh, furnace. This is going to be our furnace room as well. If you guys want to place more boxes, make sure you um, take the door off, place them, and then put the door back on. Then you place two half walls and two quarter walls and stone them both. Then you place the door. Hollow triangle, stone it. And then uh, regular floor, triangle floor. Door, lock it, boom. Now that you're ready to build second floor, place windows all around, window frames. Of course, upgrade. Then triangle roofs. I'm not gonna be showing any uh, secret stashes on this house because I think this house is fantastic. And, uh, you guys will be pleased with it. Replace the door with the garage door and upgrade the frames into metal if you want. Mind you, all the triangular roofs could be damaged by the jackhammer, so you might want to upgrade them to metal. And then uh, once you're done with that, place the triangle roofs all over the top and upgrade them. And don't worry, nobody will be able to climb inside of your window. If you cannot see out of this smoker's peak with the sniper rifle, all you gotta do is just place a campfire, and boom, you got way better angles. And that's how this looks. I actually forgot to place this ceiling made out of wood. I upgraded it to the stone by accident, but make sure you leave this as just regular wood. Reason being, we can place a gun trap when we're ready. All you have to do is just get a some kind of a weapon or use a chainsaw to blast through this. And that's it. Now we can place a gun trap right here. You'd be surprised how many idiots will run in after you and you'll get all of their loot. Beautiful. All right, now I'm gonna upgrade the roof to metal. Also, uh, take a note that when you're upgrading a roof partially, it leaves openings that you could use to your advantage. Place a gun trap right there as well. If you have trouble getting up, just stand on the left spurs and that will make you, uh, that will help you to jump up. And uh, your door, you can control it right from this spot. As soon as you come out, this window, that's your front door. And like I said, if uh, anybody gets through, the gun trap is right there. Place a uh, workbench one when you're done with it, and you put the bench two downstairs. Reason being, you can jump up on it. And if your roof isn't fully upgraded, you can use it to your advantage to snipe. Place all the crates, lock them. And whenever you're ready to close off the roof, just fully upgrade it. But make sure you upgrade, you know, the wood, the stone. And each time, like I said, you can use this opening to your advantage. And when you don't need it anymore, you can close it off by finishing the upgrade. And that's that. I would highly uh, uh, recommend upgrade frames always to metal. But you guys can build however you want. Especially if you're not going to be using this base for too, too long. It's really a great start. It will uh, give you 
very very fast boost on the beginning of the wipe. Also, if your roofs don't place on the second floor, you can place them from this spot. Where I, I'm, I'm just doing an upgrade, but you can place them from here as well. And replace all the double doors with the garage doors. And then you can decide if you want to metal the house or, you know, move somewhere else. It's perfect for like one to three people. I mean, three people would be a little bit cramped, but for one person, it's fantastic. Even for two people, it's not too bad to start off. But if you have a team of eight people, everybody can sleep outside and just gather resources. So let's check it out. And that's what it looks on the outside. Imagine this in high quality, fantastic rating base. Imagine you wake up in your compound and you got eight of these all around and they're about to start raiding you, you're screwed. Well, this is our creation and we're about to move to number two. This is the number two. I call this bad boy the tank. I even had people sitting on top of the house as I was sniping everybody out of the gas station and they would just bring the loot and we would split it. Very effective base. Place it in front of the warehouse, gas station, supermarket, or anything that you want to take over. And now let's hop in and I'll show you what's what. Here we got two doors and a garage door. On the right we got two gun traps. Make sure you place two because one of them could go run through. But two of them will level anybody. Here we got the fast spawn, drop on boxes, locker. And here we got our sniper beat. I forgot to upgrade this frame guys, I'm sorry. Always upgraded with the metal. And this is our front. Look at these peaks. You'll be able to tell your teammates everything what's going on out in front. And intercept anybody and take their loot. No problem. Also, mind you, as you sniping, you can get shot from both sides. So less effective side I would close off with the window also you, you take a heavy fire you can back down in here and recover which is perfect but if there's too much uh, shit going on out front you can always uh, just lock yourself in the back right here and look at their peaks you get you snipe someone they won't even know where you where that came from Ah, let me take you inside. Here we got the bench two and fridge, our loot room. Look how many boxes we got. Six small, six big and two smalls. We got bench two fridge. Ah, oh, don't you hit this little crouch jump? Place a campfire and you can just crouch walk. Same thing with the beds. Place a campfire and you can crouch walk. It's a little track, a little trick for you boys. If you didn't know. And that's pretty much our uh, first floor. And uh, right here is our core. It's got sealed off into a uh, high quality cube where you can pass resources through kill. All you have to do is just stand up, look up, and uh, your head will stick in there. I'll show you how to do all that as we build. But you don't have to seal it up. This is the cost for 24 hours. And now uh, let's get to the build. This is a 
fantastic spot. Well, first you get a triangle uh, foundation. Come to the closest as you can to the gas station. And then uh, take a few steps back. Once it lights up blue, make sure you take more couple steps back as well. The reason being, the roofs might not be placed if you're too close. So make sure you have enough space. Place it just like this. Three triangle foundations. And then two square foundations, two more squares, and then triangles all around. Here's the overview of the foundations, how they should be laid out. And this is how it's gonna look eventually. So you understand kind of. Alright, let's get the build. place doorways right here doors you can place three doors but I'm only placing two for now and then uh, make sure you place the PC exactly in that same spot and it sits flush otherwise you won't be able to fit everything it's not flush. I'm gonna inst I'm gonna just uh, do it to the final right away. But if you guys don't have high quality or metal, just do it for use the stone for now, and later you can upgrade everything. But I'm just gonna upgrade everything as I go. Make sure you leave the front stone, otherwise you won't be able to place the roofs. Place the roof. And it's done. Alright, now we can place everything in here. Make sure that you can place a wall there, in case of raid, you can uh, make a high quality square. Also, um, I would place the uh, second door right here. The third door, I would only place if I leave or I'm getting raided. Just because, um, I'm going to show you, when we get in between these doors so we have some room to move around but three doors would be kind of complicated that's why I only place it when I go offline or if I'm getting raided other than that I always keep two doors there but you can do however you like you can place three doors it's just gonna be a clusterfuck all right let's uh, build our loot room make sure I upgrade the frames just like that. That's got to be our loot room. Upgrade it. Place a half a wall with two triangles. The break it. Three triangles, I meant. The break it. And that will give us a giant shelf. to place the boxes. And we can squeeze two small boxes on the bottom and one small box on the top. We can actually fit more boxes on the top but they will stick out. So now two boxes right here and maybe a fringe or something. Now we're ready to build outside. Place a frame, another frame, upgrade them.
when you place the boxes here, like I showed in the previous video, so you don't have to always crouch, jump over this BS, place a campfire, and you can just crouch one. No problem. Alright, now let's place our uh, shooting floor. Place a triangle roof, just like that, and another triangle roof on the other side. Upgrade it. And now we're ready to build um, all around it. Place a window frame. Make sure you rotate them. Don't forget that, very important. A lot of people forget to rotate their walls. And then they wonder why it's broken. Then uh, place two half walls, just like this. Upgrade them, rotate them. Never forget to rotate if it doesn't look right. And this is our beginning uh, of our shooting floor. We could already use it. But it would be more effective if it was closed off. So let's finish that up. Place a window frame. Make sure you place everything the way I am. Otherwise, if you place the uh, windows and all the frames around first, you won't be able to place the roofs. Even sometimes these roofs are kind of tricky to place. You have to break the squares uh, from the main uh, foundation to place them sometimes. So this is what we get. Now we just have to finish this off. Place the doors. Mind you, all the uh, double doors you can replace with the garage doors later. Place a window frame right here. And uh, three triangles. That will close the roof. I would definitely place something some kind of barricades on the windows because people will start climbing into this house. This house brings a lot of action. People really will come for revenge all the time. You'll be one of the most hated people on the block with this house. Mind you, our TC is right behind this wall to the left. So we might want to, put, let's place a triangle here. If you got to live in this house for a little bit longer, I would uh, make everything in metal. This will give us another buffer wall before our TC. Since this house is so juicy, I can't reveal stashes in it. But the third house, which is the most juiciest one and most most hated, will have a couple stash spots. If this video gets 200 likes, then I will show all the stashes. Mind you, we just build an airlock. Replace all the wood uh, barricades with the metal ones. Place beds, and let's get ready for war. Get in the front so you don't have to do that dumb jump is to place a campfire so you can just walk right over it and two gun traps do not forget it's extremely crucial to place those two gun traps and let me show you how you can pass resources so this is our TC in case of raid or anything happening, if you want more protection, you can place a wall here, 
and uh, high quality metal everything so and what do you do now so you just stand this just right like this look up make sure you're right next to the wall make sure there's nothing in your hand if you don't know the f1 kill you just hit escape and hit suicide and there we go it worked now all we have to do is just spawn in inside of our tc and take all the resources mind you if you have a couple people living with you this is much easier process and there we go we can just take everything from our head and place it into the boxes into the tc just like this And of course, if we want to pass something back, we can just put it right back into the body. And then we'll just spawn in on the bed, and we're good to go. How we can paste all the wait, uh, you know, fast resources back and forth if your TC is closed off like that. Because trust me, people will come to rage you, they're gonna be pissed. And if anything, you can place some buffers all around the house for extra protection, you can add second floor or whatever you like. It's very easy to buff. One thing to remember, when you're buffering your house, do not forget to rotate the walls. Please, do not forget. Well, we are to number three. I'm going to show you that this house also buffers with triangle buffers or, or uh, with squares, however you like. Just like that, that's the cost for 24 hours. And we're about to go and build it. This is what the house looks like. This is the most hated house I've ever built, I think. Your boy is hungry, been working all day, starving right now. Oh, look at this guys, don't you like this Nintendo Zapper skin? I think it's so dope. Well, that's the crib. It looks very simple, but trust me, it's not. When I build this house, there was always something going on. People would camp me, try to take revenge. The action was through a hundred. If you're not ready for such action, I would not recommend living in this house. The turret hits you all the way here from that door. If you leave the door open, especially if L96 or Volt, forget it. That turret hits miles away. So we come in, we got two gun traps. Actually, I placed one uh, wrong. I have to re replace it, but here we got a turret, lockers, tier 3, smoker speed. Three sixty uh view. It's a fantastic starting house. Especially for snipers. And what's good, it's you can build this anywhere. And just take shit over. Where is he 
you going, just a little bear? I see you. Ready? Ready? Down. Also, guys, I'm going to show you our secret stash. It's right here. We have a lootable locker inside of this wall. I'll show you how to build it and everything, so stay tuned. Let me take you to the first floor. Uh, I forgot to place another turret right here. These turrets will slice anyone that comes in. You can just leave the door open and people will get sniped. And if they come close, the gun traps also place gun traps right here. When you come down. And that's our fast spawn. Our loot room, which is similar to the house number two. Get a bunch of boxes here. Then we'll have a locker, bench two. And the same thing in case of raid, you can turn this into high quality cube and pass all the resources and loot through the kill, just like in the second house. This is the foundation. And let's uh, get to build it. We we'll start off with the square foundation in the middle, and then triangles around it. This is gonna be our TC. I'm gonna upgrade everything to metal from the start. And now we get to build the TC. Two doorways. Make sure I upgrade everything as usual. Never forget the frames. Place the same way the TC, two boxes, and two bags. Make sure you can place a wall there in the case of rain so you can make a high quality cube. So place a bench, couple of furnaces. Make sure you can still place the wall. So perfect. Now, we can build, oh, I forgot to upgrade the frame again, see? Always upgrade the frame, I would recommend metal. And this is what it looks like in the beginning, roughly. I love this skin. Oh, bro, your boy is hungry right now. Look at this, I'm about to die. I need some munchies.
let's eat, let's eat. And we're about to continue building. Thank you guys for understanding that my boy is hungry. Been working all day burning those calories, you know? Thinking hard. Planning everything. So, yeah. Hope you appreciate this video. Oh, about to munch a little bit more. And we about to go right back. Alright, let's continue on. Oh, oops. This is gonna be our root room. It's built the same way as on the second house. Ready to build second floor? We're doing it the same way that was done in the first house through the furnace. Place two beds for fast spawn, locker. If you're combat ready, place two gun traps. So when people have come raiding, come down, get laid out. Make sure you close off the front where your TC is with the buffering triangle. So the rats don't know where your TC is. I recommend doing it in metal, but I mean, you can use whatever you got. Just don't forget to rotate the walls. Place a campfire so you can walk over the beds. All right, let's build the second floor. Place a wall, another wall. Then a roof, and then place a half wall in another tri uh, triangle roof. And then we can put our frame and close it off with the garage door. Now that you're ready, place uh, half walls all around except for the front across from the uh, where the garage door is. Then I place window frames on them, just like this. Also place a door frame right there. Upgrade everything, place the door. Once you're ready, place it first place the triangle thing, shelf for a turret, and then two triangle rooms. If you place the roofs first, then you won't be able to replace the turret. Here, where the closet comes in, once you upgrade one of the sides, I'll show you in a second. Alright, place the door frame here, upgrade it, and then two roofs, square roofs. Upgrade them. We're 
ready to build the last portion of the house. Place quarter walls and then triangle roofs on the window frames. They're a little bit tricky to place sometimes due to their texture. But, okay, so upgrade it. Make sure you only upgrade to the stone because if you place, if you upgrade these parts to the metal, you won't be able to place, close off the roofs. So place all the triangles right here, upgrade them. The same thing on the other side since the house is symmetrical. And now we're ready to place our split hollow squares. Just like that, upgrade the frames. And now we're ready to place square roof to close it off. If you upgrade the triangle roofs to metal, the roof will break. You can only upgrade them to stone and the square roof to metal. Otherwise, the roof will collapse. Place the lockers so you won't get shot in the back. To use the smoker peak, place a campfire, like always. Now, we got way better peaks. Place the gun traps. Case of the door, I fucked one up in this build, but you guys can uh, fix my mistake. And then place two gun traps right here for when people come down the chimney. Place a locker. Tier 3, couple of boxes. To get up, you can just walk over to the turret. You don't have to jump because you won't walk, you won't get there, but if you just crouch one, you'll get right on top. Place another campfire on the other side, couple of sleeping bags for extra spawning spot. Or just for extra people. You can also use those spots for boxes, whatever you want. Fantastic spot to snipe. like that, you, you crouch, walk on the turret, and that's it. Then we can place actually a couple of boxes on the top. I prefer small boxes on one side and one big box on the other side. That way I can move around faster and easier. But you can place boxes or whatever you want up here. Your choice. Try sure to lock them all. Alright, let's place a locker now. Upgrade only one side to metal. Now place the locker all the way back, as in the middle as you can. Place a lock so it's unbootable. And upgrade the other side. If you've done everything correctly, the result will be just like this. If you place it just a little bit incorrectly, then the locker will stick out. So try to get it right. So nobody can see your locker. And even if they break it, the loot will fall all down and they won't have they won't be able to get it. Once again, don't forget to close your TC off with buffers. And don't forget to rotate your walls. And that's pretty much it. Right here we can place a little walkway with the triangle roof and the triangle foundation to get up top. Place a wall so redstone hide. And that's pretty much it. If you guys hit 200 likes, I will show all the stashes in all the houses. Also place another doorway right here facing this way so you can so you can bait people with the turret. You can just leave the doors open with the airlock and the turret will do its job. You'd be surprised 
how many people he would nail. And there we go. Open way for the turret. Well, thank you guys. Hit a like, subscribe. And like I said, if it gets over 200 likes, I'll show all the secret stashes. We out. Oh. Oh. Oh.